Hello, my name is Carlos dos Neves and I'm the Director for Research and Internationalization at the Norwegian Veterinary Institutes and the President of the International Wildlife Disease Association. And today I want to share with you a few words about One Health, but also share a dream and make you a challenge and an invitation. Many of us are familiar with the term One Health animals, humans, and the environment. Some will call it global health, planetary health, environmental health, but the premises are the same. The connections between these components, animals, humans, and the environment need our attention. It's on these interfaces that we are sometimes experiencing problems that need action and solutions. And I guess the pandemic is just a recent good example of these interfaces. But I would argue that One Health is a lot more than just this. It's also about climate change, land use, social interactions, economy, globalization. All these topics, all these things are also One Health. And this is my way to say that this is not just the play field for veterinarians and doctors. This is a place where all disciplines should be welcome and need to be a part of. Whether you're a social economist, a linguistic, a social researcher, an engineer, a biologist, an ecologist, all these disciplines will find its space within One Health. So because it has been so much on the agenda lately, many of us working on this topic have now and then discussed over the table when we meet, what are we actually doing here in our country? What's happening in Norway with One Health? And uh, some of us are uh, part of a very large initiative called the Lancet One Health Commission, an international group working exactly to provide within the next year an updated report on One Health and the needed pathways forward. But some of us at the University of Oslo, at the Public Health, Norwegian Public Health Institute, at the Norwegian University of Life Sciences and at the Wagner Institutes have been talking and saying, we need to have a better view of what's happening in our country. What are we doing and how good are we doing it together? And from these challenges and questions, ideas, came the dream. The dream to get a more consistent approach to One Health in Norway. And this is a dream that materializes in an invitation and a challenge to all of you. The next 3rd of November, we will celebrate, as every year, the International One Health Day. And this is the time chosen to organize the Norwegian One Health Conference for the 21st century. We're very happy that the University of Oslo through its Center for Global Health will be hosting this event. We hope we can gather physically uh, already by that time, but this will be a chance to, first of all, get a snapshot of what are we doing in One Health? We may have examples, of course, of Norwegian institutions working abroad, but it would be interesting to see as well, how are we doing One Health within our borders? It may be easy to think that One Health is antimicrobial resistance or zoonotic diseases. And therefore, probably around the world, we will have many good examples from many of us doing One Health there. But One Health is a lot more than that, as I said. It's non-communicable diseases is social economical impacts. And therefore, just as relevant within our borders, even if we don't have many problems with zoonotic diseases or are not the hotspot of pandemic events. So this is to say that all of you might have a contribution to show and share on the 3rd of November. And hopefully this get together, this very familiar friendly get together uh, for sharing science will allow us a second objective, to start shaping a One Health Norway platform, a space where we can communicate, not just scientists, but also managers and politicians, for example, those responsible for transforming One Health science into policy. An arena where we can talk, discuss ideas, give advices, may be indeed a step forward in implementing One Health in Norway. I'm not even being that innovative. This is a structure that exists already in the Netherlands, in Sweden, in Germany. So no reason that Norway should stand behind. 
We've been able to share these ideas, these dreams with other colleagues from several institutions already in Norway who have very graciously accepted to join our scientific committee. But now the challenge is to all of you listening to us today. Join in, submit an abstract, come and share the work that you're doing that you feel and believe is one health in Norway. And hopefully all together on November 3rd, we will get an idea of really how much we're doing. And fingers crossed, on the 4th of November, we will be entering a new stage with a new mechanism, a new platform to be more active in One Health in this country. So this is the dream and the vision and the challenge and the invitation that I leave to all of you, no matter which discipline you work with, in which institution you are, join us on November 3rd and join us for One Health Norway. Until then.